gonna make everything tiny. <laughs> How does that, uh, we don't believe what's on TV part go? Hi, my name is Keen Campbell, and I play the drums. While I'm looking at you? Yeah. Okay, look at you the entire time. Okay. Um, my name is Zan. My name is Xander Sanchez. Um, I'm 17 years old and I play guitar. Uh, uh, my name is Amilcar Sanchez Buchanan. Amilcar, that's kind of an unusual name. Uh, I think I've only heard it once, once before. Yeah, so, because my brothers, they have usual uh, Jose and then Andres. You know, so Amilcar, I don't know, they must have threw up, my parents must have threw up the alphabet, and then whatever came down <laughs> was my name. Uh, when did you begin to play your instrument? So I started playing when I was 13 years old. Uh, my parents got me my first drum set, and I started learning ever since I taught myself. I started playing guitar um, a couple years ago, I think maybe when I was about 15. Yeah, 15 maybe. No, it was 15. I was 15 when I really started playing. Um, um, but yeah, I, um, I, I play the guitar. Um, I like the, you know, I'm, an, I'm a guitar enthusiast. So I've been playing for a little while. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard is it to learn your specific instrument and why? I'd say about an 8 because there's more to it than just... Um, Banging on the drums, you got rudiments and different fills and also different genres you can play. So, say an eight. Uh, playing guitar, well, there's this thing my dad likes to say, like, anyone can play guitar, but it takes someone special to master it. So really, honestly, playing guitar isn't that hard, especially if you just want to pick it up as a hobby. Um, but if you really want to get into it, you really want to commit to it, you want to be, I guess, one of the greats, a good musician like that, um, then it does take a lot of work. It does take a lot of time. Um, so on a scale of one to 10, I think, I think probably, um, a seven, maybe. This guitar is hard to learn, um, with the kind of like chord shapes and stuff and the things that you have to do with your fingers, the movements, that kind of thing, getting fast, getting good at it. So, um, yeah, that can be a bit difficult. Yeah, um, like I tell Xander, um, my son, because um, he took it up, it's it's easy to play. Um, but like my my instructors told me too, it's like the easiest instrument to play, but the most difficult to play well, you know, because it's so subtle. A lot of your sound that you create is, is, is how you uh, uh, approach how you hold the guitar, how you hold your pick, or maybe you're gonna finger pick. There's just so many things in executing a sound on the guitar. Like on a piano, you just hit a key, and it sounds. You can't you can't bend that key, you know, to to waver it, you know, tremolo, or 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 or, or otherwise control that pitch. But the guitar, you can do that with with different uh, techniques, and so. So that's where it gets uh, difficult, but it gets cool too, because you can't believe you're making some of those sounds. What was the most positive experience you've had while playing this instrument? Um, being in a marching band and then is this a whole different experience on its own. And then, I don't know, I just have fun all the time playing drums. <laughs> um, well, since I really just play guitar, um, I'd say the most positive experience I've had with playing guitar is probably, um, there was this song I did a couple months ago, uh, with my dad and, uh, we, we learned it together and we performed it for my 
high school's collage. Uh, and it was a really fun thing to do. It was really great that I got that opportunity to do it with him. And I would definitely do something like that again. It was just very fun, uh, very nice, and definitely something I'd like to do again. Yeah. Um, um, finding instruments. Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> there's probably many, but... Um, but I'm going to steal Xander's uh, answer. <laughs> I thought that was cool when he... Uh, when he asked me to play a duet with him, I thought that was the coolest thing. Um, that, you know, that me and my son could work on something and, uh, you know, and, and, and it was a cool song that he picked. I'd never heard it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. Yeah, I'd never heard it, and, but it was a really cool duet by the Foo Fighters. And it was, uh, it sounded cool. Um, but, and, and, but there's also some tricky spots in it too. And, um, so, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, uh, oh, I don't know. It, you know, it wasn't just, uh, a passive, you, you know, um, uh, a, a approach to it. You know, we, we really had to work hard at it and, and, and every day we got better and better. And then finally... You know, it just came together, and that, that, I'll remember that forever, so. What was the most difficult part of the instrument learning process? Um, learning how the notes sync up on sheet paper, and also, um, just having the right mindset to learn an instrument. I think the most difficult part of learning guitar is probably getting used to it. Um, I mean, trying to play fast uh, is something that everybody would want to do. You obviously want to sound like Eddie Van Halen or someone like that, uh, where you want to just play so fast and it sounds so cool and stuff, but um, but your fingers can cramp up because they're not used to like moving that fast, and your fingers, like the tips of your fingers, you'll develop calluses, so they'll hurt for like a day or two uh, because you've been playing and your fingers aren't used to the instrument, so... Um, it's really just getting used to it. That's the most difficult part. Uh, there's a particularly difficult song, I, I guess, but that's really just kind of specific. So in general, it's just getting used to the instrument, getting used to the way uh, to play it. Um, that's what I think. What other instruments do you know how to play and why did you choose to learn them? I don't know any other instruments. Um... There's only, I think there's only one other instrument that I kind of know how to play, and it's not even really, like, familiar to me um, anymore. But uh, when I was in middle school, I played trombone for my school's band. Um, I only did it because uh, you had, it was a requirement, you had to have a music class in the first year of middle school. So I chose band, um, and I chose the trombone to play because... Uh, I guess I just liked it the most, I don't know, like the most interesting something, I don't know, something attracted me to it and I picked it up and I played it for the middle school band, um, and I wasn't very interested in it, like I wasn't very committed to it, Was I didn't practice it outside of actual band class, so I eventually dropped it in my first year of high school, and it was actually around that same time that I picked up the guitar, so... Um, yeah, like, like a lot of kids, I, uh, I think in sixth grade, they come around, you know, in school and, and you, they start, uh, the teachers start asking if you're interested in, in band. And so, um, I chose the trumpet, you know, um, that seemed kind of a cool instrument. So I played it for about, I think, I think my freshman year. Uh, I dropped out. I started in sixth grade, and then, uh, but I really wasn't serious, you know, I just kind of played, um, and it just didn't, it didn't keep my attention. What advice would you give to people learning to play the instrument you currently play? Uh, just have fun with it, and don't give up. Currently play. Um, if you want to play guitar, um, I guess my advice would be, Decide what you want to do with it. 
do you want to actually play it for real? Is that a career option in your eyes? Or is it just a hobby that you would like um, to, to do? Because uh, if it's just a hobby, there's no need to really push yourself into learning um, difficult scales and chords and all that stuff. You can just learn your basic A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, and, and you can just... You can just learn all those, and you can learn a few more, maybe, if you want. And um, you can just, like, kind of, like, form together some songs, maybe. Again, if it's just a hobby, if it's just something kind of lying around the house, and we have one guitar, you know. But if you really love the instrument and you want to play it for real, like, in your life, if that's what you want to do, uh, if that's where you think your life is headed, then um, you really have to be committed and you really um, should learn more difficult things so that you're prepared to um, actually play some good songs, make some good music, so that hopefully you'd get picked up and be put in the spotlight. Yeah, um, you know, um, Steve Vai, I saw an interview with him once, you know, he's a great guitar player, and... Um, he, he, he gave some good advice and, you know, um, I took it to heart too. It's like, it, um, if you want to, you know, if someone wants to play the guitar, you know, um, I guess you want to, you want to ask them what, what turned you on to it? What, what piece of music did you hear that, that got you interested? You know, there, there's, there, there's gotta be something that, that drew you to it. You know, and then that's where you start then um, if you're going to instruct someone or, or you know, uh, look for a teacher or something, you know, uh, be sure your your instructor knows what, what you were after in the instrument. Or if you're the instructor, you know, ask the potential students like, OK, what, what tell me what you heard that that made you want to play. You know, instead of just start randomly teaching them something, you know what I mean? So, and then that, that will, that'll give you a good idea of what, of, of what, where, where they, where the student wants to head, you know, wants to go with it. Or, you know, if you're a student, you know, you, you, you convey to your instructor, you know, this is what, this is what I heard. This is my vision of, of what I want to play, you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah.